The Beaver Builder team is excited to announce an update to their Page Builder plugin. I've put together this video to share with you some noteworthy new features found in Beaver Builder 2.6. For a complete list of updates, I will link up to an article in our knowledge base in the description below this video. Let's head over to my demo site and check it out. First up, you will find four new micro landing templates. They are a phone app, bio link, launch countdown, and podcast. To add a new micro landing template to your page, navigate to the content panel, click on templates. In the group dropdown, select micro pages. Then you can click on your favorite template to either replace the existing layout or append a new layout. The next update has to do with reusable blocks. You can use WordPress reusable blocks in Beaver Builder layouts. The good news is that now when a reusable block is updated in the block editor, it's also updated in any Beaver Builder layout where it's being used. Beaver Builder 2.6 introduces a new breakpoint in the global settings. In the responsive layout section, there's a new breakpoint setting for large devices so that you can set three custom breakpoints. This means that there is now a category larger than the large device breakpoint, which is called extra large devices. From the tools menu, go to global settings. In the global settings pop-up under the general tab, Scroll down to Responsive Layout, and you will see the following default pixel counts for large, medium, and small devices. To change the presets for the breakpoints on your site, simply enter the pixel width for each category. Click the Save button to save your changes. You can see this selection listed in the breakpoint setting in the visibility section located under the Advanced tab of Rows, Columns, and Modules. Note that when you update the plugin to version 2.6, any devices set to large only will be automatically switched to extra large and large devices. The next new feature is that you can now preview Google Fonts from the topography section to see what they will look like before implementing them on your site. To preview Google Fonts in Beaver Builder 2.6, Go to the topography section and click on fonts. And then in the family dropdown, you will want to scroll down to the Google section and then simply hover over any of the Google fonts to see a preview. Moving on, there is now a search function in the save tab of the content panel. You can use it to narrow down the results when looking for saved content items, such as rows, columns, and modules. To use the search feature, click on the save tab. Now, rather than scrolling through a ton of options, you can type in a keyword to bring up the most relevant results you have stored. Another option the Beaver Builder 2.6 update brings is the ability to import, export, and reset Beaver Builder global settings. You can use this to create a backup of your settings, transfer them to another site that also uses Beaver Builder, or reset your settings to the defaults. From the WordPress admin panel, go to settings and click Beaver Builder. At the very bottom of the page, you will see a new tab called Import Export. When you open that tab, you will see three buttons, Export Settings, Import Settings, and Reset Settings. The first option, Export Settings, will create a file that you can save as a backup or use on another site. Import Settings will allow you to take an exported file and apply it to the current site. And lastly, choosing Reset Settings will reset your Beaver Builder global settings back to the defaults. While we are here in the Beaver Builder settings panel, you will notice a new section for advanced functionality that previously required filters to enable or disable. Click on the advanced tab for a list of options that you can toggle on or off. For example, you can see here that when small data mode is enabled, fields that are empty or blank will not be saved to the database. We can click this toggle to turn that on. There's no need to save the page since it saves as you go. Last but not least, there are a few small front-end improvements that automate common processes 
that save you both time and effort. The first of these is an update to copy and paste. You are now able to copy and paste row, column, and module settings. This will save you from having to reconfigure multiple elements individually when making adjustments to your layouts. Next, a duplicate page option has been added to the front end. It can be found in the Beaver Builder drop-down menu here in the WordPress admin bar. Probably one of my personal favorite updates is that it is now possible to automatically populate items in tabs and accordion modules with any post type or use saved elements within them, such as rows, columns, and templates. Question of the day. What's your favorite new feature found in Beaver Builder 2.6? Don't be shy, leave a comment below and let us know. Bye for now.